Hey, Randy. It's been a long time since I tormented you with some novelty music. I think I have one you'll love. Okay. Go ahead. If you must. Take a limited club, 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 go ahead. I wish I took a taxi instead. Limited club, keep a heart. Yeah, get how get dropped it. Get a long little donkey. I'm Steve McClellan. And I'm Randy Hodgins. And I have to admit, the mastermind behind that clip really is a legend. I'm talking about Mickey Katz, who unleashed a unique brand of Yiddish-flavored novelty songs on America from the 1940s to the 1980s. Meyer Myron Katz was born in Cleveland, Ohio, circa 1909, to a struggling family. As his prodigious musical talents emerged, Mickey found a way to supplement the family income at a young age, competing in amateur musical contests and bringing home the prize money. At age 11, after seeing a concert at Cleveland's Talmud Torah that featured a clarinet, he was hooked on playing music for his living. Mickey's health was too fragile to be drafted, but he supported the World War II effort by playing in USO bands. After the war, he hooked up with another new novelty star, Spike Jones, but feeling he wasn't being paid enough, he soon struck out on his own. His first record set his formula. Take a recognizable song, like Home on the Range, but changed the lyrics to a mad mix of English and Yiddish. Here's a taste of that first single, Haim Afen Range. Please drive in and bring plenty of change. They play me a joy care, a nice game of close boy care. He don't in a high school Afen Range. That record was a hit in New York and other cities with a large Jewish population. Encouraged by the results, Mickey kept at it releasing dozens of songs during the 1950s and 60s. Some were parodies of the Great American Songbook, some were folk tune mashups, and some were taken from the top of the Billboard charts, as in this 1957 send-up of Bill Haley and the comics' iconic Rock Around the Clock. While his records never sold a huge number of copies, Mickey remained a big draw in concert. He also produced a stage review called The Borscht Capades, was a disc jockey for KABC Radio in Los Angeles, and conducted the band at Friars Club functions for 25 years. He's also the father of cabaret star Joel Gray, and the grandfather of actress and singer Jennifer Gray. You can find out more about Mickey Katz and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. 